Okay, so welcome. This is the first video in a series of videos covering Unreal 4's Blueprint Visual Scripting system. So I'm going to go ahead and do something a little bit different with these videos. With the other ones, I kind of move a little bit quicker, more of a brisk sort of pace, kind of get straight to the point a little bit faster. Blueprint is just one of those things that um, takes a lot of explaining as well as a lot of action to show you how to use it how it works. I want to get you into the mindset of thinking in a logical manner that allows you to take advantage of Blueprint in the best way possible and puts you in, in the best position possible to be able to use Blueprint and kind of go uh, on your own. Okay, so I'm going to kind of walk you through this and kind of we're going to go baby steps here. So this video is meant more for people who basically if you don't know what a visual scripting system is if you've never heard of a visual scripting system if you've never programmed anything for games or or anything before um, then the pace I'm gonna choose to go through this video is gonna be perfect for you if you have used say UDK or Unreal 3 in the past and you're experienced at using Kismet this tutorial is probably gonna be a little bit too slow for you it just depends on what your experience level is if, if you've opened up Kismet and played around with it a handful of times, then uh, this tutorial is definitely for you. If you're some kind of genius with Kismet and you can set up gameplay and you've modded uh, games using Kismet and you've done really advanced stuff, this tutorial will probably be a little bit too slow for you. But if you want to watch along, go ahead and be my guest. Okay, so before we get into Blueprint, I kind of want to talk about it first. Um... So there's one key concept we got to understand. Back when Pong was invented in 1970 whatever, um, it was invented a long time ago, and up to today, the same uh, blueprint tries to say solve the same exact problem that has existed since the 70s or, or before that all the way to today. Okay, so what's the problem? Well, the problem is people want to use computers to do cool stuff that's essentially what it comes down to games are cool I'm assuming you also think that games are cool or else you probably wouldn't be watching this video but uh, games are cool I like them I'm sure you like them anybody watching this video likes them um, sometimes we have cool ideas for really cool games or, or games that we think are cool and um, the tough thing is is figuring out how to take that idea from our brain and creating something tangible with it that other people can enjoy, right? So, for example, say you woke up Sunday morning and you thought, oh man, I have a great idea for a game. I had this crazy dream about this crazy game. I'm going to go ahead and write this thing down right now. I got to make this game. I'm sure millions of people would buy it, they would play it, and they would enjoy it, okay? Now, you're going to run into a problem. Even if you have the most amazing game idea ever conceived, in history you gotta make it happen if you can't make it happen if you can't actually make a game on the computer that people can actually play on a console on a tablet on a PC a Mac whatever it is then your idea kinda stays locked inside your head and pretty much you're the only one that gets to enjoy it no one is gonna buy it no one's gonna play it it's not going to exist except for your imagination so the challenge has always been how do you go from that idea in your head to something that you can pick up a controller with and start playing shooting stuff blowing stuff up what have you so um, for decades there's been a lot of different ways to try to solve that problem usually the problem is solved uh, with two things either some kind of programming language or programming system and a genius programmer that knows how to write code and make all this stuff happen okay and uh, unfortunately uh, the vast majority of us are are not geniuses if we were the world would be a completely different place believe me but uh, I'm not a genius maybe you're a genius I don't know I'm going to assume that you're at the same uh, level of intelligence is me which is pretty you know normal I'm not a genius I'm not a super smart person um, but 
you know, we're, uh, we learn. Uh, it's one of the things that makes us human. So the challenge now is to jump into Unreal 4 and figure out how we can tell Unreal 4 to execute our cool game ideas. So for example, say if I have an idea for a game where, I don't know, turtles roll down hills and run over gophers that are sticking out of holes and every time you hit a gopher in the head, you get points. If that's my game idea, I need to be able to communicate to Unreal 4 and tell it, hey look, I have this cool game, there's turtles, there's gophers, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Go ahead, make it happen, make it work. Well, Unreal 4 is not going to do anything. It's because we have to give it instructions. So, Blueprint is its a really neat tool. Um, I've been working with game engines for a while, for years now. And um, I've done everything from scripting things by hand. Uh, and thats it's not fun. Uh, when you make stuff work, it's fun. Um, but when you're sitting there kind of pounding your head on the wall, and tr maybe trying to learn a new syntax to a scripting language it's all kind of a pain in the in the butt so we don't really want to do that some people prefer to do that but um, I don't I'm a, I'm a visual person I'm, I'm, a, I'm a 3D artist in the games industry I'm a visual person I like seeing things that I can understand not text but visual things text is fine but as long as we have some visual things I can manage so uh, the cool thing about Unreal 4 is that unlike uh, Unreal 3, which uh, it did have Kismet, which was technically a visual scripting system, but it also had um, Unreal Script, which you can use to uh, write code to make stuff happen. The cool thing about Unreal 4 is with Blueprint, we don't have to write any code. We can do everything with Blueprint. Blueprint lets us do whatever in the world we want to do. So if you have an idea in your head about a game of turtles running over gophers down a hill, you can make it with Unreal 4 using Blueprint. So, um, where is Blueprint? Well, you know what? I think I'm going to end this video here, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up on the next video. I know I did a lot of talking and really didn't do anything in this video uh, in terms of getting our hands dirty. But again, this is a, a total beginner series, the Blueprint, and I really want to take you by the hand slowly and show you that Blueprint is not a scary thing at all. In fact, you'll find that Blueprint is your best friend when it comes to game development, period. I don't care if it's Unreal 4 or another engine. I've used a lot of different visual scripting systems from Softimage Ice to other things in other engines I won't name but um, there's a lot there's other game engines out there that have their own ways of programming things or they have their own visual scripting systems as well and um, I've tried them all and blueprint I gotta tell you blueprint is legit it is uh, by far my favorite and I find it to be the easiest one to use but we'll see that firsthand in the next set of videos